Guys, I'm super excited to show you the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. Let's get into it. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video, 15 years in the making. Here it is, the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro, third generation. Check it out. So in this video, guys, it is a very early prototype. So I'm just gonna show you the outside inside some of the cool features that it does have on the inside talk about the powertrain that it shares with the tundra talk about a lot of other things that it shares with the tundra and just kind of give you guys an overall impression of this sequoia kind of a first look of it so this one here is the trd pro the exclusive color for the trd pro when the sequoia comes out this summer is going to be solar octane so just like the 2022 tundra it's going to have that same very bright vibrant orange color so let's start out with the front guys what do you think let me know in the comments section about the front of this truck looks like forerunner with the it looks like forerunner kind of with the grill looks like rav4 a little bit down here looks like tundra obviously on this side of the truck very nice menacing front end for this thing and i like how it's not too much like tundra with that what people are calling the handlebar mustache so this actually looks like a proper grill everything is uniform and tied in coming down we have the fog lights down at the bottom down here you have your parking sensors radar since this is the TRD Pro, you do have that built-in in-house light bar. You have the marker lights too, Heritage Grill. The premium lights, just like Tundra, you can see right here in the wheel well that it does kind of follow that technical camo that the Tundra has too. Coming down to the wheels, same exact as Tundra. Guys, the overall theme of this truck is Tundra, but a three-row SUV. So the Falcon Wild Peaks, almost 33-inch tires, those BBS Forge wheels, Fox shocks, very killer on the outside. Here's the driver's side profile. And let's go over to the rear end to kind of let some people down, right? Biggest thing about Sequoias, Tundras, Forerunners, the rear window goes down. So hopefully that part does not carry over to the 6th gen Forerunner in the sense that the back window will roll down on that. But this one does pop up. I believe you press this button right here. Yep. So the glass does pop up which is cool and then you have power lift gate now you did notice that Toyota emblem is blue iForce Max standard only motor option on the new Sequoia so it only comes with the hybrid motor for the Sequoia SR5 limited this TRD Pro that capstone over there that Jeff is working on only the iForce Max motor same exact numbers as tundra in regards to horsepower and torque and then max towing on the new sequoia is about 9500 pounds so that's a 22 percent increase i believe they said last night over the outgoing model which is actually pretty good so close to 10,000 pounds you can tow with your suv coming back again to the rear end i do like how they tucked the exhaust up into the bumper right here this is obviously a trd exhaust because it is a trd pro and then let's talk about the back seats real quick so the back seats, obviously they cannot fold down all the way because why? Well, you can't see it because that spare tire is in the way, but there's a live rear axle back here. Since it's on the new F platform that the Land Cruiser's on, the new Tundra, the new LX600, you know, body on frame, there's an actual multi-link rear end and a live rear axle down here. So the independent rear suspension is gone, no center lock, no full-time four-wheel drive. But anyways, with that, you cannot fold the seats all the way down. But Toyota has engineered like this little shelf down here. So this shelf has multiple slots. So if you are able to push the seats down, which these are automatic, see the headrest flipped forward. That's where your seats are gonna go. So this shelf right here is very trick because you can take it and have it be completely flat if you need that for storage you can grab it and set it right here to be like a flat shelf so you'll still have some storage under here but now with those rear seats down you are able to have a flat shelf back here so yes it is higher than the competition but the competition doesn't have the same rear end that this one does with the rear locker and all those goodies. So the fact that Toyota was able to still engineer a little shelf like this is very, very cool for the rear end. Another thing too is the new TRD roof rack, kind of like a flat front runner roof rack or a rhino rack kind of a thing. Yeah, we'll take a look at that roof rack real quick. 
So actually super functional over the old TRD Pro roof rack for the Sequoia. So nice tie downs and straps and stuff that you could put on it. And as you can see, it just kind of goes into the stock roof rails right there. A little moon roof too. So let's go ahead and go onto the inside. So let's keep in mind, very pre-production, about six months away from launch, okay guys? But <laughs> it's Tundra. It's basically Tundra on the inside. A lot of the characteristics and similarities of Tundra straight down to the technical camo following onto the seats, the TRD Pro seats, center console, same characteristics as Tundra, same way that it moves. You know this moves, you know that turns up, same as the third generation Tundra. Let's go ahead and get on into the inside. It's Tundra, <laughs> which is awesome because the new Tundra interior is pretty good. Heritage style over there on the glove box. All your goodies down here because this does replace the Land Cruiser 200 series here in the States. So you have all the goodies down here, multi-terrain select, crawl control, your different drive modes, and it all changes itself on the screen. They took the key. Gosh, dang it, because all this stuff is a little bit wonky because it is a prototype right now. But it'll act just like the Tundra TRD off-roads do. Rear locker. Your camera system, full 360 camera system, very, very awesome to have in a Sequoia. And then let's take a look at your rear seats too. So technical camo comes in just on this one, and I do have the seats down, but technical camo for some reason is not on the third row seats. You have the option of a bench seat system back here or these captain's chairs, and they actually go forward very quickly. Uh, and you have kind of like a little step thing to get into the back too. Back is pretty spacious. I have another video of that for you guys. But yeah, three row standard. iForce Max standard. Can't really complain. Definitely a bit better than the outgoing generation that's sitting right over there. Good, you want me out of this truck already? Well, what, what time is it? It's 8.15. It's okay. switch. Okay. <laughs> so... All those systems are very cool to have in this truck, but it's not just the TRD Pro guys. All of the TRD off-roads that the Sequoia will offer have all that. So again, think Tundra, and literally everything that the Tundra has to offer, think of that for the Sequoia as well. So guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, I appreciate your guys' support. Jeff is rushing me out of the vehicle, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, see you later.